Welcome back. We are here looking at the, the commodities market and the precious metal market. And uh, this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, June 16, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied up towards the 50 and got rejected really hard here. So we got very overstretched and ran into the 50. And to pull back towards uh, the 20 or the middle of the bullish band could be expected at this point. Breaking above the 50, well, then we have the opening towards the 200 up at 91.5. So, technical indicators, we can see that the uh, MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So, let's look at oil. So, Oil just continues to rally, 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 and it looks like the target at this point is 72.5. And if that breaks, then we have 75. Technical indicators, we can see that we are significantly overbought at this point, approaching the top of the bullish band. So pullback could be expected at any point, but they will most likely be bought into. So as we can see in the past, broken towards the 50 or the bottom of the bullish band was massive. Um, buying opportunity right here technical indicators otherwise macd is bullish stochastic is bullish and cci is bullish as well so let's look at natural gas so natural gas of course it fell off a cliff today we're down to four percent it that was always going to happen we got very overstretched here in the bullish band we can see uh, what happened the last time we got this overstretched but there was also the chance that this could go completely parabolical and and to take out these previous highs here and go way, way beyond. But, um, well, reality really set in because it usually doesn't rally this much at the time of the year. So at this point, it looks like we're going back towards the middle of the bullish band at 3.07. If that breaks, then we have the 50 down here at the 2.9 and the 200 moving average down here at 2.79. Technical indicators, we can see that Mac stochastic is bearish. The CGI is still bullish, but it's turning around uh, quite fast. And so is the RSI, which is bearish at this point. And while the MACD is turning around and will most likely cross the signal line within the next day or two. So let's look at copper. So copper completely got a hammer today. So this is a very worrying sign. We ha actually haven't seen copper this bearish for, we have to go all the way back down here in order to see this, uh, um, this occur. And there's almost no pullback at the end of the US session. We are most likely gonna have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average, and that could be a massive warning for this market that we could drop towards the uh, four, um, 4 or maybe 3.7 level. If you look at technical indicators, we are approaching oversold conditions as we have been selling off for quite some time. MACD is bearish and the stochastic is bearish and so is the CCI. If you look at the weekly chart for, for copper, then we have a crossing here of the MACD in the weekly chart. And usually that is a very worrying sign. We haven't had a crossing. Well, basically, we have to go towards uh, to May last year, where we have a crossing from the downside to the upside. And what we saw then was basically this massive rally here. So we may see a pullback when we get to the middle of the bullish band in the, in the weekly chart. If you'll probably see this as a buying opportunity. But usually, this is a massive warning. If you look at Bitcoin, for example, or other that this, uh, the crossing of the MACD, um, the signal line in the weekly chart usually means that the trend is changing and um, uh, it's a good idea to probably check whether or not this holds. If this breaks, then we're looking at a drop probably to the, to the bottom of the bullish band or the 50 moving average down at 3.6. So let's look at the gold. So gold continues to drop. Uh, 200 moving average is offering support. Uh, we uh, and the resistance is at the 20 exponential. So looks like we're turning around here. If uh, we have a crossing again of the 20 exponential and the 200, and we could see this basically drop all the way down back to the bottom. Techn technical are looking dreadful at this current stage. Uh, so uh, 
So um, yes, uh, fairly surprising as uh, this was this rally here was very impressive and it looked like it was going to continue up towards 2000, but no, it got really rejected at give or take uh, 1907. So if you look at the uh, Fibonacci retracements for this, it's probably give an idea why we got rejected there. We approached 61.8, was geared around this area here, top of the bullish band, and then we basically got really heavily rejected from that Fibonacci retracement. So the question is whether or not we break below the 200 or the 50. Um, doing so, that could open the floodgate to much, much lower levels. If we bounce from here, then we could go and take out these previous high centers and uh, Fibonacci retracement again, and then we could be looking at a run at 2000, 2100. So let's look at silver. So silver also uh, pulled back today and uh, rallied, and now we're right at the 20 exponential. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and so is the RSI. Breaking below here could open the door to the 50 at 26, and break below that opens the door to 25.7. So we're kind of trading sideways at this current stage. It does look like uh, this knows where it go will go at this point. Gold usually is a very good indicator, as uh, silver usually follows gold. So if gold continues to drop, we'll probably see the very same thing for silver. So let's look at platinum. So platinum continues to drop. Um, target here probably 1100 or the 200 moving average. Um, every time we rally uh, towards the 20 exponential, it gets rejected. We are there's still a lot of room to the downside, and other technical indicators are looking fairly dreadful. So this rallies, drops, rallies, drops, and it looks like we're going to head towards 1100. But the 200 moving average will also meet up, and then probably have a bounce from there. Break into 200, and we can see this drop to significantly lower levels. So let's look at pallium. So pallium, uh, very similar here. We have been rallying up towards the 20, got rejected, 20, got rejected. If we take out uh, 27, 19, then we can see a drop all the way down to 2,500. Technical indicators are looking fairly bearish at this point, and uh, there's a lot of room to the downside as we our size is only at 42. Break above the 50, then we could head back towards 3,000. But this looks like a fairly bearish trend at this point. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium also pulled back, uh, got close to the top of the range here, which we have uh, tested three times now. We saw it here, here, and here. And now we're pulling back towards probably the 50 moving average as we have done that in the past as well. So 23.91. And if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is crossing the signal line, the casting is crossing the signal line, and the CTI is turning around, and the RSI is also bearish at this point. So pull back towards the 50 could offer um, support and bounce from there. Break below that, then we could see this going significantly lower. So let's look at nickel. So nickel really took a hammer today and um, dropped below the middle of the bullish band and towards the 50 moving average, trading at uh, 17,545 17, at this point. And technical indicators, all of them are screaming bearish momentum at this point. So whether or not we bounce from the 50 moving average, that is to be seen. Um, but this was definitely not a day, a good day for nickel. Drop below the 50, could open the door to the 200 at 16,677. After that, then we have a massive flow to get to the downside. But we have seen these sell-offs before. We saw them here. We also saw one here, and it has bounced uh, from uh, the 50 and the 20 in both those occasions. So let's look at sugar. So sugar also dropped towards the 50 moving average and down here at the 0 0.1697. Technical indicators are showing that the momentum is definitely to the downside. It is all bearish. Drop below the 50, opens the door to the bottom of the bullish band. And after that, 0 0.16 and the 200 moving average at 0 0.1538. 
So we haven't been there since um, this was basically the start of April, where we dropped towards the 200 moving average and saw this massive rally. Since then, we have gradually grinded sideways, basically going up and down. Top of this range is roughly 0 0.18. The, the bottom is 0 0.1650. So yes, we're approaching that level. So let's look at cotton. So cotton um, had a really bad day yesterday and then tried to rally uh, today, but didn't get that far. We are, pro uh, we are above the 50 moving average, which is um, encouraging to the upside. So if we were to rally from here, then we'll most likely run into resistance at 0 0.87. Technical indicators otherwise are fairly mixed. MACD is, um, MACD is bullish, the stochastic is bearish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. Right below the middle of bullish band could open the door to the bottom of 0 0.8066. So let's look at Kokoa. Yes, so yes, this market is, is um, it's it's um, unbelievable to be to be very honest. So first of all, we are still trading in this this square. So the bottom tested it three times or even more than that, give or take. Uh, 2310 is um, as far as this will go at this point. We did gap up today and then pull back a little bit, but top of this market, 2538. Uh, Technical indicators are all turning around, so we could have a run at this level here. The 200 moving average is just above as well, and the top of the bullish band as well. So if we rally up towards this point, a pullback could be expected. But uh, at the moment, we're just going back and forward within this square. So let's look at wheat. So wheat continues to drop. At this point, we hit the bottom of the bullish band at 650, give or take. And uh, momentum is definitely to the downside. So we rallied, got really rejected at the, at the middle of the bullish band. And now it looks like we're going back towards the 200 moving average. Last time we got towards the 200 moving average was basically here in the beginning of April. And then we had this massive rally to the upside, pull back, and then pull back and continue to pulling back. So middle of the bullish band is offering massive uh, resistance at this point, and we're getting crushed towards the 200 moving average. Break below that could open the door to the $600 level. So. Hope you found this helpful. You won't support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.